My name is Dennis Clifoni and welcome to how to deploy a Frisco virtual router for the SXI. I'm recording this video for personal training and it will take about 20 minutes. This video is the best view for a level 2 or level 3 engineer. So, let's start. In this video I'm going to connect multiple sites and services in Active Directory and I will use the Frisco virtual router that you can find on this website. I'm not going to use the official version, but I'm going to use the file that I found in this link on the VMware community. As you can see, I've created four virtual machines called the C01, the C02, the C03 and the C04 that I will use later as a domain controller. And each virtual machine is connected to four different networks called Site01, Site02, Site03 and Site04. Each network has one virtual machine connected on it. And now I'm going to deploy the open virtual application or appliance that I've downloaded previously. As you can see, the root password is Wycom1 and no network card were added on this virtual application file. For this video, in my lab environment, I'm going to create a virtual router with four network cards where each one is connected to a different site. And before to start this virtual machine, I'm going to do a final check of the virtual router configuration. And I'm going to type setup before the first boot. I'm going to log on with the root privilege and with the welcome one password with capital W. So the first interactive page is if you want to continue with color or monochrome mode, I will leave most of the settings as a default. In this main server menu, on Detect Hardware, 
you will not see the four EMD virtual network cards and it's not a problem. So from the initial router server type, I'm interested on the Ethernet router. As you can see, there are very few reasons to change this from the default of iNet. So change it back to the default configuration. There is no need to change any interrupt request, so just press X. And this is the most complex part for this tool. So we are now network 0 in which you can see is called Ethernet 0 and I'm going to change the default IP address assigned with my new default gateway and I'm also changing the default DHCP client configuration to know. I strongly suggest to practice for a while before to go live with this virtual appliance. Now I'm choosing one as a network one. As you can see, I'm going to assign the new name Ethernet one. For the new network 192.168.10 with a class C network mask. And I'm going to do the same for network 2. and network 3. Leave everything as a default except for Trust Local Network 1, which I'm going to change to Yes. The same for Local Network 2 and the same for Local Network 3.
this free appliance has also a local screen saver that I'm going to show you. You can also practice with the internal DNS, DHCP, SSH and HTTP server provided by default. I'm not using them, so I'm going to click X. And now it's time to start the four virtual machine. They are not yet the main controller, but only workstation. As you can see, each virtual machine is on the correct network and is able to ping their default gateway. And also, every virtual machine is able to ping and reach each other from different networks. So for this video, I've created something like a start topology, and what I'm going to do now with a remote desktop connection, I'm going to connect from DC01 to DC02. from DC02 to DC03 And then from DC03 to DC04.
and after a few days of testing, here in Active Directory Sites and Services, you can see the four different subnet masks and each domain controller is now connected to each single site. What I'm going to do now on TC04 in Site 4 is using one of my script. called create lab users which I'm going to populate Active Directory with more than 1000 users And as you can see, in Active Directory, I have a new Exchange Users Organization Unit with the lab user created via the script. And from DC04 in Site 4, I'm now to DC01 in Site 1. And as you can see, there is no replication yet between the sites. So what I'm going to do now is to force a real-time replication from site 4. And after a few seconds, the replication was done. And we are now near the end of this video. So, as you can see, the four domain controllers are global catalog for each site. And we can prove that this virtual appliance is working pretty well. And before to finish this video, I'm going to shut down this free SCO virtual router running on ESXi 6.5 and we are at the end of this video so thank you very much for your time and if you want to be in touch with me just subscribe on my channel Bye.